Welcome back to Behind the Gate with Scott and Kate. This is our second podcast tonight, and uh, we'd like to welcome you back to uh, Behind the Gate with Scott and Kate, whether you're joining us for the first time or you're uh, back with us for the second episode. Thank you very much. In this episode, we have a captivating lineup of some young individuals you may know throughout the industry that are joining us today. Grab your headphones, settle in, and let's have a chat with some of the uh, young and budding stars of the uh, mini horse racing series that's coming to the Maritimes this uh, this summer. And I'm, of course, uh, Scott Waddell here with uh, Caitlin Wesley. And we'd like to thank our sponsor as well, Advanced Appetite, the sponsor of our podcast tonight. So uh, take it away, Caitlin. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, we're excited that we have um, a couple of the young mini drivers on board with us. Um, if you haven't seen them at Charlottetown, you might have seen them in Truro. Um, they were so much fun to see. They were exciting. They brought a lot of thrill to the harness racing industry. So yeah. let's uh, kind of dive in and introduce these guys. So first up, uh, we have L Lucas. Lucas, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Lucas Bailey, and I own the Metro Horses Terrible Olaf and Whiskey. Awesome. Liam, right. do we want to introduce you? My name is Liam Myers, and I own Witchy. Awesome. And last up, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Um, I'm Aaliyah, and I own Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan. Love that name. Those are some exciting names. They're very catchy. Like, yeah, you get yeah. that thrill of them. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, guys, so we're going to dive in and, you know, get to know you guys and get to know, you know, how it was with driving in the mini races. So first up, uh, how'd you guys all get involved in harness racing? It's a big sport. Like, how did you manage to jump into this? Uh, well, Lucas, you want to take a crack at it? Sure. Well, my whole family was uh, very involved in her racing, so it's kind of just burning me. That sounds about right with you, big guy. You seem to be around the track a lot. He comes yeah. by naturally. His, uh, his dad was a, a young gun in the Maritimes. Yeah. I remember your father driving. Yeah. How about you, Liam? Liam? How about you? Probably, I'd say my dad and my brother were big into the sport when I was really young. Awesome. Okay, and Aaliyah. Um, my mom and my stepdad and my mom's friends. Yeah, it must be interesting to have a mom that's so into uh, horse racing. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. What about your guys' like, uh, favorite driver? Since you've been in harness racing for a while, you must have a favorite driver that you follow around the circuit. It can be from your home track or, you know, it could be an Ontario driver. Anyone that kind of drives you guys to really get into harness racing even more? Well, I don't want to offend anybody. So, <laughs> my father, Rick Bailey, and my grandfather, Miles Heffern, Sr. Father, for sure. Miles. <laughs> Miles had a heck of a year last year. He did. He sure did. How about you, How Liam? About you, Liam? Who's, who's your favorite driver? Or I, I like James McDonald a lot. Oh, okay. You were probably in PEI when he won the uh, World Driving Championship, were you? And he was wearing the Canadian colors. I think I was, yeah. 
Yeah, you're probably a little younger then, but uh, yeah, James McDonald winning it on uh, home turf. So how about uh, you, Aaliyah? Who's your favorite driver? Um, I'm going to have to say Amber Campbell. Oh, okay. Sticking with the female side, eh? Pretty interesting. Look at that. They're all, did you notice all the drivers, Scott, where they're from? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man. I tell you. <laughs> So, if you guys are into harness racing, you guys must be, you know, at the track on race days. Yeah. Who do you guys usually help out? Or do you have your own stable that you guys race out of? I I usually help out my father and my grandfather on race days. Or if anybody needs a little help in hand, I'll help them out. And on, how about you, Always Liam, helping. on race days? What are you do, I'm, normally doing? I'm usually helping out my dad with um, a lot of the helping them get ready and stuff. Okay, good. And what about Aaliyah besides chasing her mom around? Um, I usually help the Renaissance stable. Oh, do you? I hear. Uh, I usually never get to see her race day. Oh, I suppose she's probably a uh, busy beaver at the Renaissance Bar. They get so many horses racing. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. She's pretty steady, it seems. Great spot to be, for sure. Well, I'm going to ask you, Lucas. Uh, we'll start with you. Who's your uh, favorite horse? Do you have uh, a favorite horse? Yeah, I do. Check your chip because my first ever standard red horse in Turbo. I made your horse because we go way back. Okay, right on. How about you, Liam? I'd have to say Acrobat Hanover. He was one of the first horses I've ever owned. Yeah, he raced extremely well when you guys uh, got him. I watched him over there all home week and uh, really liked that horse. Classy fellow. Yeah. And Aaliyah, who's your favorite horse? Hmm. Probably from the Renaissance Barn, I'm guessing maybe, unless uh, it's your mom's. It's hard because I have a lot of favorites. Yeah, I do too. Top two favorites are Victonian Amelia and You Bet I'm Watching. Oh, okay. Excellent, excellent. All right. So let's move on to like talking about mini horse racing. Since, you know, you guys are pretty well known for it. You guys have already explained who your guys' horses are. So when you guys go and race, is it kind of like a normal harness racing? gig or is it totally different well it's kind of just a lot of fun to just go out and go on the track and drive and stuff yeah it must have been something uh racing in front of uh people i know in charlottetown uh, it was quite a hit over there for sure and it was kind of it was a hit everywhere but um you know, that day you kids went in Charlottetown, it was, uh, it was something to see, especially with Vance announcing, too, was a, was a nice added touch. How about you, if you Liam? you pick you... a track, too. Yeah. Um, it's really fun. We, we get to race against our very good friends. Do you guys hang out like uh, you and the other guys when you see them around the track? Yeah, a lot. Okay, good. And which track would be your favorite to uh, race your mini on? Woodbine. 
Goodbye. Oh, you're thinking big, Lucas. I love it. Got any connections? <laughs> oh, you never know. You never know. Never know. That would be something to see up there for sure. How about you, Liam? Woodbine as well. Woodbine? Ah, and Aaliyah. Well, I'm going to have to say Woodbine as well. Oh, wow. Well, I hope somebody from Woodbine is listening. That'd be a great promotion to have you kids go up there and show off your stuff. So that would be great. So you guys uh, must be excited for the upcoming, I guess we'll call it a tour this year because you kids are going to be not only in uh, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, there's word you might even uh, be coming to New Brunswick. So we hope you guys can, uh, I know two tracks in Nova Scotia or perhaps all three uh, have signed on to have you kids this year. And I'm sure Red Shores will, uh, will love to have you back too. So should be a lot of fun this, uh, this summer. Yeah, I, there was a, there's three of us, myself and Luke is your mom, Sam and Laura, which would be Hudson's mom. Yeah. Um, we really dived into doing the mini horse racing series this year. So all three Nova Scotia tracks jumped on board and said that would be awesome to have these mini drivers. Yeah. Would, uh, Woodstock, they took on it like it was the best Good. thing ever, which I'm so excited to hear. Awesome. Um, Red Shores, we're looking at dates with them. So it's like a whole big circuit this year that we're hoping to have all you mini drivers out and go into all these tracks, which is just awesome that they get to be on the track. Um, so it's pretty awesome. We're uh, still working out some kinks, but there'll be posters and more advertising coming um, once more things kind of get situated, but it's looking like a big circuit for you guys this year. Yeah, def definitely. I know last year's events in the Maritimes really created a lot of buzz. And uh, I do kind of a, a countdown of my top 10 stories of the year. And I put the, the kids in the number two slot this year behind uh, the Gold Cup and Saucer. But you know, so fun to watch, uh, you know, the kids have so much, uh, you know, the smiles and not just for the kids. I mean, for the grown ups. I mean, you know yourself, Caitlin, you know, being a being a mom of a mini racer now and, you know, just the smiles and and uh, everybody was just such in a great mood. And it's, uh, you know, something that uh, the kids and the parents and the fans will cherish for years. And it's so great Absolutely. to see it continuing. Yep, I, I agree. We went and we had you three actually here at Truro. Liam, you got to be a groom for Lucas, which was pretty cool for the <laughs> very first mini race we had. Oh, that's cool. And then we had went to Charlottetown and Luke, uh, Liam, you actually started to drive your own mini. So you went from being a groom to having your mini, which is so cool to see. But it was so exciting. Just the atmosphere with you three kids, even with everybody else. It was just so exciting. They were there to help each other. They always pumped each other up, no matter what happened on the track. Yeah. Right, Lucas? Yeah. Like almost that telephone pole situation. Mm. <laughs> Aaliyah, <laughs> you kind of had the same situation, <laughs> but it's still everyone still had fun. <laughs> no, that's that's the main thing of this, uh, Caitlin, and I know the kids will say the same that it's uh, just a just a fun uh, group of events, and uh, it uh, it really does create a buzz in the Maritimes. We need more events like this, and. Um, like you and I have talked uh, many times, Caitlin, you know, these people that we're talking to tonight and other young people in racing, they're the future of, a, of the industry. So we've got to keep them engaged and having something like this really, uh, really pays off, I think, for us. Oh, 100 percent. Last question for you guys. 
I know Lucas and Aaliyah might have a really good answer for theirs, but um, if there was something that you could change about last time you drove, what would it be? What would it be? Staying clear of the pylons. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a fine there, Lucas? No. <laughs> What about you, Liam? I'd say training Witchy to have a better standstill start than before. <laughs> that seems to be one of the hardest things with them is that standstill start. They don't know if they should go or if they should just wait for everybody else. It's funny because I don't know if the Aaliyah, kids... You know? It's funny. I don't know if the kids know this, but... Uh, at, in some countries where there's horse racing, that's how they race. They start with a uh, with a standing start. And I know that some of our drivers from Canada have gone to other countries and competed, and they have to uh, learn to start basically, you know, from uh, with no starting gate or anything like that. So uh, it must be it'd be nice to have like a mini gate for the kids, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be cool. That'd be cool. Might have to work on that, Kate. Yeah. yeah. Aaliyah, what would be something that you needed to change? Um, Probably not get the inside rail. Oh, you've been in the inside. Dapper <laughs> for Dan not liking the inside post? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Some horses don't like leaving the inside, strangely enough. Well, awesome. I'm so glad we have you guys on. Yeah, thanks for joining us, kids. It was a great, uh, great discussion. And I know I'm pumped for uh, watching these events uh, unfold. And uh, so glad that uh, Woodstock have signed on, too. Uh, up here in New Brunswick, so I can go up and uh, see you guys in person. Absolutely. That'd be so much fun. Yeah. Lucas, you have a story for us before we leave. You must have a story for us. Come on, Lucas. Well, I don't know. What? Come on. <laughs> like, what am I talking about? Nothing funny? <laughs> um, nothing right now. <laughs> uh, all right maybe next time we have you on we'll have to have something funny to talk about maybe <laughs> <laughs> all right well, well awesome uh, i'm so glad yeah so certainly like to thank lucas and uh, liam and alia uh, for uh joining us tonight for our second episode of behind the uh, gate with scott and Kate podcast, and again, sponsored by Advanced Appetite. So looking forward to uh, seeing you guys this uh, this summer around the different tracks and hope that uh, you guys have uh, a great time with it. That's what it's all about. It's not, it's not about uh, that you have to win or anything like that. Just go out and have fun. And uh, that's, that's the main agenda of this whole, uh, this whole thing. And it's uh, great for the sport. Thanks for having me, Scott and uh, Caitlin. Thank you. No Thanks for joining. Problem. Anytime. Awesome. We like to hear that. Our so next... stay tuned for the next episode because uh, we're going to have uh, Truro Raceway's top driver, Paul Langell, join us. And he's going to dive into some fun, interesting facts about his stable and his driving career. So, Lucas, stay tuned. I will. We'll see Paul Langell come on. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank you for joining. Okay, thanks again, everyone.